Yeah, come on in. Hey, give me just a second here. Go ahead and take a seat. Me. Right now, one or two more things, and I'll be right with you. Okay. I had to finalize some things before our next part of the schedule. What's up? Yeah, no. I was... Yeah, I was expecting you. You did say the other day that you wanted to talk, so... What's on your mind? Quit the team. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Start... <laughs> Before you go off on... Whatever it is you're getting ready to say. Um... Why, why would you need to quit the team? You don't have any sort of academic failures. Okay. It doesn't have anything to do with academics. Uh, I mean... Why, why would you think you need to do that? It's just something you need to do. Listen, I'm sorry, but that's not an acceptable answer to me. Look, we- I could use a player like you. I mean, you're a bright spot academically, you're great on offense, you're terrific on defense, you've been averaging any above, far and beyond the league leaders in terms of shots made and percentages, you're, you're a terrific athlete, why do you- Is there something at home going on that I need to know about? Alright. You locked that door, right? Do me a favor, get up and lock the door. Go ahead, go lock the door. Alright. So I've turned my phone off. Turn your phone off. I mean it. Pull it out, turn it off. How about you tell me what's going on? Listen, kid, it's just you and me here. No cameras, no recorders, no interruptions, no nothing. Is everything okay? Whoa, easy. Easy there. You don't... Okay, here. Um, here, there's a box of Kleenexes for you. Look. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. Anything that you're not comfortable with. But the problem is... We're doing well enough that I can't just dismiss you from the team without people coming by and asking me why, or even the local press trying to figure out what the situation is. I mean, I could just as easily cover it up and say that it was academic failures, but a simple journalist would be able to figure out that that's not the case. So, you're not required to give me an answer. And I can tell anybody who asks that it's none of their damn business, and to get on with their life. I can do that. That would not be hard. But... I'm wanting to give you an opportunity here. If there is something far more egregious going on in your home life, or in your personal life, or one thing or the other, then I would ask that you'd be honest with me. If you can't be, that's fine. I can... I can make a statement and say conduct detrimental to the team. Do your parents know that we're having this talk right now? Okay, well... <laughs> well, now we really have a problem. If your parents don't know, 
and you just all of a sudden disappear from from practice and aren't going to games anymore, maybe not even wearing your uniform or the tracksuit or anything like that, they're going to start noticing. And then they're going to start coming to me for questions. And if I can't give them answers, then they're going to want to know why I unceremoniously just kicked you off the team. So... It sounds to me like you've got something going on. Are you going to quit school? Okay. So... You're going to stay in school, and despite a very clear and obvious path towards a scholarship, you're giving it up. Well, see, that's... No, I'm not trying to badger you into an answer. I'm not. I'm trying to help you understand that if you come in here and say, I need to lead the team, and my response is, alright, that's fine, there's going to be several different questions you're going to have to answer from different people. Your teammates are going to want to know why you suddenly left. Your parents are going to want to know why you suddenly dropped out. And people around the area are going to want to know as well. And if I don't have any kind of answer that you would prefer to have or something to that extent, all of a sudden you're going to have more people around you than you really want. What I'm really getting at is, it feels to me like there's something going on where you feel like you can't be around this anymore. And maybe it's none of my business. Maybe I'm just spouting words and you're not listening to a single thing I say because you've already made up your mind. And if you have, that's fine. But I just want you to be aware. If I were to just cut you from the team, it wouldn't be that black and white. You would still have people coming to you asking questions. So if there's something going on, maybe I can help you. Is it... Is it something going on at home? This is humiliating. Hey. I want to help. Okay. And if, I, if I'm pressuring you, I'm sorry. But if there's something going on here in your personal life, and if it's extreme enough that you want to get out of this sort of public spotlight you kind of have, I'll be honest, it, it worries me a little bit. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, take your time. That's fine. Take as many of the Kleenexes as you need to. I don't have anything to do for the rest of the afternoon, hon. I've got pretty much everything finished here that I need to, and I have a free evening. So, if it's going to take you a little while to say what's on your mind, then I'll sit here for a little while. It's not your parents. Well, not really. What does that mean? Okay. Well, I mean, if it's something you don't want them to know about, then yeah, you're going to have to work a little bit harder to cover your base here. That's why I'm asking if there's something I can do to help. Kid, are you in trouble? You're not in trouble. You're not doing drugs. You're not... Are you pregnant? You're not pregnant. Well, you're not doing any kind of drugs. So, you know, you're not doing some simple like selling weed on the down low or whatever. And uh, nothing wrong is happening with your parents. So you're, like your dad isn't being abusive or they're getting a divorce or something like that. But they're going to be mad at you. But you're not pregnant. 
No, I have a pretty good idea what's happening here, but... I want to give you the chance to say it to me. Because now I feel like you need to. You're gay. Okay. So. Let me see if I have the situation straight here. No pun intended. You being gay feel like that means you need to drop out of sports because you're on your way towards a scholarship because one of the best places that you could go to is a a prestigious school that still has some stuff tied to it your parents don't know you're scared what will happen if they find out. And so you think the best thing for you to do is just walk away from this possibility and explore another possibility. Well, how about I ask you a question? And I want you to be completely honest with me. Is you being gay going to change how you play this sport at all, then I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I'm... I don't care that you're gay. I don't. I don't care if you like girls or boys trans people, if you're pansexual or whatever. I don't care. Listen, I'm your coach. This is one aspect of your life that I have any kind of impact in. And if you're worried about my opinion, if you're worried that my opinion of you is going to change and that I'm not going to give as great of a recommendation because now I know that you're gay, you couldn't be more wrong. As a matter of fact, I was going to save this for a little bit later, but maybe it's a good thing to throw out there right now. I was considering making you captain. And now I'm convinced that that decision was a really smart one. I don't want you off the team. I don't want you out of the school. I don't want you being afraid of you having any less of an opportunity as anybody else just because you're gay. I want you instead to think about the great athletes of our time who have come out and who have still been able to play the sport. I want you to think about the Billie Jean Kings, and the Jason Collins, and the Sue Birds, and the Megan Rapinoe's, the Diana Taurasi's of the world. And I want you to realize that your orientation, who you love, should have absolutely nothing to do with where you go in your career. And I want you to spend tonight thinking long and hard about that. And in fact, I'll do you a solid. If you decide that you can't be on the team anymore, if you go home tonight and you think about this, you think about the Diana Taurasi's and the Sue Birds and the Billie Jean Kings of the world, if you go home and think that you can't perform the way that you want to because you are gay, come to me tomorrow and tell me what you think and I will take you off the team. But... If you observe what could be given to you, if you choose to continue to be who you are, 
and realize the kid it really doesn't matter who you love. Some people are just assholes. But other people have already paved the way for you to make great opportunities. Well then you know what? I want to take this C and I want to have it sewn onto your jersey. And I want you to be the captain of this team. And I want you to lead this the rest of the way. Lead us the rest of the way because we're going very far. And I think you would be a terrific captain to have for us. But if you don't want that, then I'm not going to pressure you to take it. How about we do that? Okay. Take the box with you. It's fine. It's almost done anyway. Take the box of Kleenexes with you. Think about the things I said. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Hey, kid. Don't worry about a thing. Okay? And whatever the hell happens after you step out of this room and go back out into the world, this is between you and me. And I've got your back. Okay? Alright. Go home. Get some sleep. <laughs>